Some of them, I think, only did it when USA Today started carrying the results of all the national series. When I grew up, uh, the two in Hartford area, the two main papers were The Current and The Times. And The Current would only cover auto racing when there was a spectacular fiery crash, in which case it would get a huge picture on the front of the sports section and you'd never find out who won. But we did have The Hartford Times. And at The Hartford Times, we had Pete Zanardi, who was the auto racing writer, and he was the Grantland Rice of our sport because he put a face to all those names in the results columns, and he made us care about the people who drove and the people who raced. Uh, the Hartford Times is long gone, but fortunately, Peter's been able to, to apply his trade at other newspapers and magazines that regularly cover the sport, and he's done a little bit of writing for some of our speedways as well. Our next presenter is Pete Zanardi. You know, I came to this sport as a teenager uh, going to New London Waterford Speedball. And I came as a guy who grew up in an Italian family that had this reverence for baseball. And I needed a little something to uh, kind of get away from that conservatism. Well, I found it. I found a sport that had a guy named Red Foot driving a car number J2. And that's a combination you can kind of get your whole being around, you know, a lot of color. I mean, I can remember he had a little red foot, a, you know, a foot painted on the side of his helmet. And he won, and he won, and he won some more. And I remember that the race paper was always filled with this impish grin of this, the, this guy doing a lot of winning. And it seems sort of ironic that 40 years later, I'm here inducting Melvin Redfoot into the Near Hall of Fame. And lots of history has been made in those four decades. And history, is, of course, is why we're here. This Hall of Fame, like all the others, honors, me honors men who have shaped history. And you can honor, I think, but that is the definition of fame, what we do with history. And Redfoot shaped history. He's a United Stock Car Superstar. And what the history will tell you that this guy won a lot of races at a lot of places. But if you believe, as I do, if you look at history as a continuum, you best linger a little bit when you come to an era called the Eastern Bandits. <laughs> Because this group, which kind of existed in the 1960s, I believed, pulled New England racing out of this parochial little existence into the national picture. And to quote one of America's great politicians, you can look that up. And it was Noah Arena that started it, and I'm sure some of us, uh, even those that don't remember uh, West Springfield Speedway, probably remember Trenton. Trenton was kind of a collecting point, the North and the South getting together. But the bandits took this battle right into the den of the enemy. They went down south. And who was the first Yankee to win at Martinsville Speedway? Red Foot, 1961. Foot uh, today joins two other bandits in the, uh, the Hall of Fame, the late Ed Flemke and the uh, Always quiet, rainy Charlene. <laughs> In fact, Red, Red was so successful down south that he, that he eventually moved down there. And there was something else I owe Red Foot and the Bandits. I've always been infatuated with American names, with how strange they are. And it was those guys that made me aware of places like Belmar, New Jersey, Manassas, Virginia, Caraway, and always one of my favorites, Mayock. North Dakota. They simply did it by winning races. Redfoot, of course, continued to win when he went down south, first in the modifieds and then in the sporting cars. But in truth, he belongs to New England. And tonight, we justifiably, proudly, and with honor establish that. It is with a great deal of pleasure 
that I call Red's daughter forward to accept this honor. Susan Regis, I'm sorry, Susan, forgive me. <laughs> Thank you very much. My father wanted me to let everyone know that he is very honored and he's sorry that he can't be here, but it is for health reasons that he couldn't be here. Thank you very much. They call him Red Foot the Red Foot, and it's a pleasure to, to welcome him into the Hall of Fame. Find you in the morning sun. 